Okay, so today is day one of the official ladder being up finally for the VGC 2022 season. Here's the thing. Uh, let me let me let me wrap with you guys for a second. Um, I have not played since series 11. Since series 10, actually, Alex straight up didn't play last season, so let's see the damage. My main concern when I'm this low on the ladder after like a season where I don't play is that I'm not gonna find any games because everyone else is higher than me on the ladder. <laughs> there we go, okay. Let's see what we're facing. Uh, so it's just Swordfish, but with a Lantern. That's actually pretty cool. I very much like my Eternatus in this matchup. Um, I think I go Eternatus, Thunderous, Groudon in the back, and Venusaur looks amazing here. Incineroar is obviously really good too, but, you know, Eternatus. It's, it's Eternatus, guys, come on. Yeah, no, there's definitely a lot of weird stuff down here. Yeah, there's a lot of water types here. That's why Venusaur just looks so great. I really hope they just lead off with the Kingdra. Okay, yeah, there's the Kingdra. Um, here's the thing. If they have to switch to prevent me from just annihilating this thing. If I can annihilate the Kingdra on the Dynamax turn, I'm, like, in such a good position. And we are in low tier, so I don't mind just playing this super straightforward. I really hope they just Tailwind and attack me in the same turn. If they if they protect, obviously it's not great, but, you know. Oh, no, no, no. I, gar I, I guarantee you, the low ranks are always scarier than Master Ball. Because in Master Ball, at the very least, you're in Master Ball. In the low ranks, you might lose to a low ranked player. That's the scary part. Oh, they're going Kyogre. Oh no, they didn't, so I just get this. Let's go! <laughs> Watch it be Sash. Yeah, no, for sure. I don't have anything going on this weekend, so I'm 100% going to be playing Joe's Tournament. I'm probably going to use this team, too. I, I really like the way this team functions. I have a lot of fun with it. There is the Pelipper. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a bet with you guys. Um, Pelipper is not Sash. I mean, I really don't want him to get a Tailwind up. And I definitely just win if I Rock Slide here. Actually, no, I'm going to Dynamax. Nah, nah, I just Rock Slide. It, it's a little bit riskier, but if I if I KO this, um, this Pelipper, like, they don't get Tailwind or anything. And it's probably Sash. Yeah. Hopefully I'm faster. Oh, no, it just attacked. Okay. That's fine. I still like the Prevented Tailwind. Unless they have Thunder Wave. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna say we win here. Um, Cause I literally just clicked Dynamax Cannon and Max. And uh, Max Vine Lash. VGC tournaments are really uh, inconvenient for a father. I, like I wanna spend time with my kids, but I also uh, don't get to play a lot of tournaments. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, they're inconvenient for me, even as just, like, a student. Like, because there's so much other stuff I have to take care of during the week. It, like, it, I went on, like, a straight-up six-month spree where I didn't play in a tournament. If not longer, it might have been eight months. I think the only tournament I played in between then, like, like it was literally just an invitational tournament, I think, was, like, the only thing that broke up that eight-month spree. And that invitational wasn't the most competitive thing.
All right, uh, that actually survived. That screams Assault Vest, but it doesn't really matter. Unless they paralyze me, of course. Or freeze me, that's another thing. All right, awesome, they didn't. Uh, so I should be fine just to double into this Kyogre. Since the, uh, Lur the Luranta, since the Lantern's guaranteed to go down next turn. Yep. Obviously, Kyogre has a chance of being faster than me, but Dynamax Cannon's definitely going to two-shot. So I can just Vine Lash it. And if it's modest, I think I outspeed. Probably not, actually. I mean, I hit 139 with a Timid Nature. If it's modest, I think I am faster. That's another interaction I really need to get down. I don't remember Kyogre's base speed stat. Let me look at that. I, I need to figure out Kyogre's modest speed stat really quick, because I always forget it. Every time. Okay, no, I don't think I'm faster. Actually, no, I am. That's not it. Where's my actual team? Okay, right, that does way more than half. No, no, I'm slower than max speed modest Kyogre. That's what it is. I still love that, though. And the Kyogre should get down to Vines plus uh, Hail. Nice. So that's game. Awesome. There's the Ice Beam. And get ready to go down to Residual Damage. Everyone's favorite thing in VGC. Also, that just picked up on my mic. I should really turn down my monitor. Let's go with that. There we go. My monitor was way too loud. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay. That's an interesting name. Um, Non-Tailwind Kiram White. Usually Kiram White's like my worst matchup with this team, but there's no Tailwind, so... Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, actually, let's do this. I don't really need Incineroar and lead. I'd rather have Eternatus Thunderous. Incineroar and Groudon. Let's do that. Yeah, usually Kiram White's my worst matchup. Oh, please, Jessica, do not point out the perfect record. It will not end well if you do. Wait, you haven't done ranked battles? Not, uh, that's a bit odd, not gonna lie. No, I, I have. Um, in previous seasons, I've, like, consistently ranked top 500. I did not play last season. I really didn't like it. I thought the rules were kind of lame, because we went back to an old rule set. And I just didn't enjoy it, pretty much, so... That's, that's why my rank is so low this season. Hey, Moxie, you number one yet? Nah, I didn't hop on the ladder at 12 a.m. like everyone else. Okay. Uh, I should be able to just do this. I'm going to get in my Incin here. And I would like to actually deal with that Dracovish first, funny enough. We're going to max airstream that. If it's Scarf, obviously we take a bit of damage here, but if it's not, we're, like, fine. In fact, it's not going to do, like, any damage. Yeah, no, like, me and Joe, we were we were sort of in sync with that. We really don't like playing on a ladder if it isn't, like, a good rule set. <laughs> the, the old rule set for Series 11 was just straight-up trash. 
because it was a repeat of a previous rule set when we knew that there was a different thing we were going to be playing afterwards, you know? We knew it wasn't going to be, like, the final rules. As he goes for the B-Blade on my uh, Incineroar, which also, I believe, confirms he's not Scarf. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, because Dracovish only hits, like, 214 after Scarf. But that confirms it now. Now it is definitely not Scarf. Okay, I kind of hope he just KOs my uh, my Incineroar here, to be honest. Let's just run. That's fine. All right. Uh, I should be able to go for this now. I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz on the Zacian. And another Max Airstream into the Dracovish. The reason I'm doing this is because I believe I take another Behemoth Blade. Uh, and if they decide to take away my, my Incineroar here, uh, it's fine because I'm going to be able to Max Airstream next turn next to my Eternatus, which is really all I need. Uh, Max Air streaming next to an Eternatus when it's choice specs is so good. It's pretty unlikely I'm faster than the Zacian at plus two, but there's always a chance, you know. There's always a chance it's that rare brave Zacian. Play rough? Oh, that is not the correct play. They need to get on top of their damage calcs. Behemoth Blade always does more. Is this Thundy AV? It is not. No, it's just straight up offensive with a Lumberry. It is about as offensive as a Thunderous can get. I probably could run AV, and it'd be fine. Ooh, this is actually kind of a tough choice. Um, all right, here's here's my play. I'm gonna go for a parting shot onto the Kiram. And I'm gonna max airstream the Zacian because it should KO the Zacian from this range. Um, and even though I don't get the speed boost on my Eternatus, I'm still gonna be faster than the Kiram since Kiram's only like base 95. If it's max airstream Kiram white, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind, that would actually be so annoying. Here we go. I could have done the hard switch, but it definitely didn't seem worth it. Especially when I didn't get a parting shot off versus Kurum. They're probably just going to KO my Thundee anyways. Alright. Um, I probably still don't take a Max Quake <laughs> on my Eternatus, so... That's not great. Uh, it's it's not really safe to go into it yet, especially when it's like my win condition. But I'm pretty confident they just KO the Thunderous here. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's a little risky, but I'm sure that I'm sure they're not going to go for it. They should just be going for a max uh, a max hailstorm. Yep, there it is. Uh, so next turn I should be able to one shot it unless I get like faked out or something. Uh, but I can just get in my Incineroar now. Thanks for the follow, push, or posh. I don't know how you pronounce that. E4. Go with that. It's the new Porygon. You know how it goes. Porygon 1, Porygon 2, Porygon Z, and Porygon 4. Alright, uh, let's go in Sin. Just gives me fake out pressure, whatever's next to this Kiram. Heracross. That's that's pretty that's pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Heracross is a pretty sweet final pick. Alright. Uh, but yeah, I should be able to just annihilate this incinner or this uh, this Kiram now. I suppose the only way this doesn't work out if, is like if it's Sash. I don't even think AV takes this because I'm Specs. Uh, let's hope it's not AV. Oh, but it's also not Life Orb. Oh, oh, that might be an issue. Okay, well, I don't lose to the Heracross by faking out the Kiram here. If it is Sash, I should always. I, it didn't reveal Life Orb, that's why I'm doing this. I'm going to fake out the Kirim even though I know it doesn't flinch it. I just want to break a Sash if they have it. We'll we'll look at their team afterwards and see if that was smart. Hopefully it's not AV. But I think this even KOs if it's AV. Oh yeah, that thing's gone.
All right, there's the Mega Horn. No close combat's interesting. I really think you always close combat there. All right, let's find out if that thing was Sash. I, I have a sneaking suspicion it might be if they're not running Life Orb. It could be AV though. Like honestly, like because because obviously like we're Sash or we're we're Specs, so like we would KO even if it was AV. But I just want to I want to be very safe because I could have legitimately lost there if they were uh, if they were Focus Sash. And I just go for this. I was gonna use uh, you, Darmanitan, uh, but today, but I was today years old when I found out you can't undo hidden abilities. Yeah, no, that's that's the thing. It's a little annoying. I think it's really dumb. You should be able to undo hidden abilities. All right, let's uh, let's check out their team. I really want to take a look at this. Hopefully, they let me. Can I not? Yes, yes. I want to see. I want to see if that was smart of me to fake out. Big Root, Choice Band, Assault... Okay, they were Assault Vest. It was Sash and the Heracross. Okay. Well, good good to know we KO Assault Vest Kyurem. Okay. Ooh, this is kind of heat. Dang, I feel like I've always lost to, uh... To, uh, Seismitoad in this format. I, I've always just had issues with it. Luckily, I, I can just kind of nay, -nay on them if I do this. If they lead wrong, this does kind of nay-nay on them. I don't really see a need for the, the Incineroar of this game, honestly. I think I do well with Groudon, Venusaur. Alright. What's the machine name we have for Gigas? It's the Quan Machine. There he is, the Quan Machine. What's Regigigas a special defense stat? Isn't it like kind of low or is it good? That will heavily determine how I play this turn. I always forget it. All right, Reginald, what is it? It's 110, yikes, I might lose my Eternatus this turn. Doesn't matter though, as long as I get an Airstream off. Uh, they can't burn me this turn either due to Lumberry reasons, so that's pretty poggers. You know, what is it? It has 110 HP, 110 special defense, so it obviously eats this hit pretty well. If I can do, like, more than half, I'll be happy. Or if they just don't target my Thunderous for some reason. Or my Eternatus. I would honestly prefer if they target the Eternatus, to be honest. Because this should be a clean two-shot. Or what am I saying? I want them to target the Thunderous, because it should be a clean two-shot. And if I get a speed boost with this thing, we're like in a really good position. There's the Protect. Gaming. That means no burn, or even an attempt at a burn. How much does this do? I'm going to say like 48%. 50, or like 60, hello? This might KO. It's going to be close. Uh, <laughs> you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Okay, uh, I'd rather that... I don't know which one I'd rather take at this point, considering how much we just did. Max Strike, okay, I really hope that's onto the Thunderous because it can take it. And now we got a Defiant boost, it is over. It's been over. That's plus two. And it's Life Orb, dude, this is the best turn we could have gotten. This is the best turn we could have gotten. The Quan Machine has been slain. Our, our, or no, we're not at plus two because we didn't have Defiant. I'm stupid. Okay, the Quan Machine has been slain, though, and that's really all that truly matters. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna max Airstream 
the the guy, and I'm going to get in my Groudon. There's a speed boosted Groudon, there's a happy Groudon. And I'll max airstream you. Speed boosted Groudon's a happy Groudon, that's what I always say. Yeah, I forgot that abilities were turned off, so I never got my Defiant. <laughs> Yeah, no Intrepid Sword, for now. I would honestly, I, I don't think I would mind if the, uh, I don't think I would mind if, if the Weezing switched out here. Behemoth Blade. Okay. Thanks to the follow, Syra, or Syrit. Sir, it's Sir Eats a Lot. I can never tell because the way that Twitch names have no freaking, um, have no spaces. That's, that's the thing. There's no spaces in Twitch names and it always messes me up. Okay, uh, Specs, Flamethrower should KO. Should always KO, in fact. I'm just gonna go for it. I can also just P-Blades. They shouldn't be able to one-shot me either, so I'm just going to flamethrower P-Blades. They could protect here and go for a Will-O-Wisp. But they revealed Protect and Sub. They just B-Blade. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to eat this up pretty well. Oh yeah, Eternatus with that nasty bulk. That should possibly be a legal bulk. Oh, it didn't KO. That's fine. Just connect the P-Blades. That better have not been the Zacian that avoided. Okay, good. <laughs> good. We prevented Drought as well, so that's really awesome. There's a Taunt. I, I don't mind, really. I really don't mind. Um, so they're stuck with no weather. And I'm stuck with an Eternatus that's locked into Flamethrower, so I'm going to switch out. And I'm going to get in my Venusaur, and that should be fine. How do you make them so bulky? Well, for one, they were at neutral. For two, you you just hardly invest in Eternatus starts living hits. Ice Beam. That's fine. E blades, connect, connect, or you're going in the forever box. Thank you. All right, that's within range of Dynamax Cannon, so I feel good now. I feel happy. Sludge bomb. Okay. Uh, if it's scarf, there's a chance we lose. If it's not, there isn't. That's just how it is. I just Presbus blades and Dynamax Cannon. But that, that should be in range of a Presbus Blades. You know, I just have to connect it. Um, and it's always in range of Dynamax Cannon. Yeah, there's the forfeit. Did you try Specs Eternatus with Psychic Train uh, for no fake out or Eerie Impulse uh, when not needed slash worth? I personally didn't. I tried it once. I didn't like Eternatus on Psychic Train, mainly just because it made it much easier for Calyrex to one-shot me. Uh, where you can sometimes take a hit from it. Honestly, I think it works just a lot better with Groudon because it's able to help out versus some bad Eternatus matchups. It's going to be kind of low this season, just at the beginning. Because a lot of us just didn't play last season. <laughs> Johnny Legs, hello? He got legs. If they're running Water Urshifu then Incineroar is not that good on lead, but if they're not running Water Urshifu, Incineroar is absolutely busted on lead, and that's how I'm going to look at this game. Uh, let's go with that. I'm going to go Incineroar. I'm also going to go with... I think Incineroar or Thundee is perfectly fine here, to be honest, uh, as well as my Groudon, and my last one's going to be Eternatus. And yeah, there is there is an Appleton in the other side of the field. I will acknowledge that. There's an Appleton. It's cute. It's cool. He's having a great time. His whole team hates Incineroar, though, if that isn't a Water Urshifu. I really hope it's Dark Urshifu. AKA, 
Durshifu. How's it going? I'm new to competitive main series and found the YouTube and streams trying to learn got to get into this. Hey, Mega Shuckle, I'm, I'm, I'm happy you found the channel. Yeah, no, um, it's going good tonight. Uh, we've been having a good first first day of the ladder. And it's kind of a strange lead for me. I, I want to assume they're just going to go ahead and try to annihilate my Thunderous. So I kind of want to get in the... I kind of want to snarl and get in my... Because I don't think they're going to... I don't think they're going to stay in with the Calyrex. Yeah, I'm going to snarl and I'm going to get in my, my Groudon here. And that should be fine. Thanks for the follow, Eon the Moon. Yeah, if their whole team hates Incineroar, they definitely have a Water Urshifu. So I'm going to bank on that, but I also think maybe they didn't bring it. Because they let off Regieleki Calyrex, which means they passed up on... Will they probably have the Zacian? What'd they pass up on? They definitely... There's no way they passed up on Appleton. No chance, right? Alright, it'd be so very poggers if you just max lightning to my, my Groudon right now. Reflect? Okay. No, I'll take it. I'll take it. There's no way they take the Groudon here. Astral Barrage. That's fine. What if they're Specs and I lose my Groudon? All right, they're not specs. That doesn't look like specs, at least. They're Life Orb, yeah. So, connect on the only Pokemon it matters on. Thank you. And I should... I should... Emphasis on should. This is a pretty big should. Be able to... I want to Snarl again. And I think I protect here. Because I don't want to Dynamax. Does anyone know why exactly this format is called GS Cup? I don't remember. I, I know that we've called G... Anytime there's two legendaries, it's called GS Cup, but I always forget why. I think it's because that's the format we played in Heart Gold, Soul Silver, so it's like Gold Silver Cup. I might be wrong, though. I always forget. You go for the light screen. That's fine. Get another Snarl off. Another, another big, nasty Snarl. They have Giga Drain. Hello? Uh, that just makes me feel more comfortable going into... Hell, don't don't miss. Okay, that's fine if I miss the Regilecki. Next one will KO. And that also makes me want to go into Eternatus, but that's still very risky, so I'm going to Snarl again. And maybe I go Thundee and start Airstreaming. I could go Eternatus, really. I'm going to go Thundee. I'm going to go Thundee. Hey, no, Eternatus is so much safer. They're not going to Expanding Force. Hello, future Twitch partner. I sure hope so. I sure hope I'm going to be a Twitch partner. That's why. GS Cup in Pokemon Stadium 2 allowed Legendaries. Electroweb? Yeah, that's why I didn't want to go Thundee, because it actually... Even though I would get, like, a Defiant boost, I, I wouldn't take the hit as well as I want to. Especially if they Giga Drain. Which I think they do it again here. Yeah. And even though I got a speed drop on my guy, um, I feel pretty good. Is this okay with the Cali? And if I connect on the Regieleki, please. Nice. Uh, now Regieleki's damage output's severely nerfed. And I didn't really lose much health on my Incineroar this whole time, so that, that's really awesome. Can you show me Appleton? I'd, I'd really like that, actually. That'd be so cool of you. Actually, I hope it's Water Urshifu so I can just annihilate it. <laughs> What's it gonna be? If it's Zacian, I can just double into it this turn. Uh, yeah, Flamethrower in the Sun plus a Flare Blitz should do it. And they definitely don't like that combo, like at all. 
And they also have to choose one Pokemon to knock out. And neither one's really the correct answer. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe actually here I'll just go into my Groudon. Since I don't need the Groudon to win anymore. I can just go for the Flamethrower. And then I get in my Incineroar again. And things are just gravy, you know? Things are just gravy. But yeah, Behemoth Blade shouldn't KO me from this range. Uh, unless they crit, or if they're like adamant max attack, that's a thing. Well, it's not a thing, but that's a thing that could happen. 68 viewers, guys, we're almost over the 70 mark. Get me over the 75 mark so I can get partner. <laughs> Electroweb, awesome. That's at minus two as well, so Eternus just it gets bounced off of him. Behemoth Blade. I could have I could have KO'd the Zacian this turn. Oh, okay, no. Apparently they really wanted to take the uh the Incinera there. We're just gaming. How much is it gonna do? 73 viewers? Let's go! <laughs> Thank you. You know, the blessed Specs Eternatus in the sun KOing behind screens. Thank you. Anyways, here's a, here's our good friend Incinera ready to fake out anything on the field. Do you like two restricted format? Yes, I think it is fun and cool and fun and good. Okay. So, I still have my Thundee. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to fake out the Urshifu in case it's Sash. And I'm going to attempt to Flamethrower to KO the Regi. I should really just lock into Dynamax Cannon, to be honest. I don't necessarily need Thunders to win, but it's like my only good Dynamax Pokemon, so... Um, maybe I'll just Flare Blitz the Regi Lucky. And Flamethrower. Actually, no, this is fine. I fake out you, and I flamethrower you. And that should secure me the win. Because then I just, you know, if I KO the Regieleki here, I just win with my Dynamax um, Thunderous. Urshifu's probably not going to Dynamax, um, because it's a bad Dynamax Pokemon. Which is really funny to think about, how a restricted, not a restricted, but like um, a... Legendary Pokemon is a bad is a bad Dynamax option. That's just so funny to think about. Oh, it is the Urshifu. Okay, uh, that's fine. It doesn't KO me with anything, and now it loses crits. So that's cool. Also, the sun's up, so... Nothing's... I, I don't think there's any move that KOs my Pokemon here. I mean, maybe Incineroar goes down, but I doubt it. It's minus one in the sun. Actually, you know what? Maybe now. Maybe now I do go down. Zacian's a bad Dynamax. It can't even Dynamax, but yeah. <laughs> I suppose that is true. It is technically the worst Dynamax. Do I live this? Oh, he went for it into Eternatus. Interesting. Alright, uh, this this Regieleki has forfeited its right to, to breathe. Does Regieleki breathe? I don't think it does. Uh, that's on, like, my bottom 10 list of Pokemon that might have lungs. Harsh Sunlight Faded on Fortnite. Hey, do you guys want to see me uh, Dynamax Cannon this thing? You guys wanna, do you guys want to see me win a match without Dynamaxing? Because Eternatus is busted. Zacian Dynamaxing is super consistent, though. Game loss for cheating DQ from the event 100% of the time. Alright, there goes Incineroar. And in comes Eternatus. Ready to one-shot this thing, because its special defense is doo-doo. I, I, here's the thing. I don't have to Dynamax here to win. I could Dynamax the Thunderous, and it, it wouldn't even get to attack. But just to be safe, just so I can have the little flex, I I'm just going to Wild Charge.
Eternatus wipe this man from existence. Thank you. Oh, it lived. Okay, well, still didn't Dynamax. Awesome. I have defeated Johnny Legs, notorious for his legs.